Hi, this is Rachel Cipriano coming to you again from Magnificent Resilience. What I want to talk to you today about is a very well-known French phrase that's made its way into the English American verbiage and it's called joie de vivre. Joie de vivre. I, it occurs to me as I'm making this video, I should have uh, looked up the exact translation in the French, but be that as it may, what joie de vivre refers to is just that zest and that joy and that excitement with living. Now, I've been very candid with you about the fact that I've struggled with anxiety and depression at times, and especially the depression, the true dark clinical depression really is one of the most painful experiences I've ever had. And it's especially difficult because it's not something for me when I've experienced it that lasted a few days or a couple weeks. It could go on for month after month after month. And um, it's just horrible. For anyone who's never been through it, it's really hard to understand. And obviously there are degrees of depression. I remember two people when I worked at the psychiatric hospitals who were profoundly depressed. Uh, it can get so bad for some people that they literally become catatonic and they don't move. These people weren't to that extent, but they were really in horrible shape. One particular guy I'm thinking of he would just sit in his room all day and look at the ground and he wouldn't eat, he wouldn't talk, this sort of thing. He eventually was helped wonderfully and it was just amazing when he came back after some pretty radical treatment. He had color back in his face. He looked like a completely different person. He looked like he had passed uh, come back from the dead. He was like Lazarus or something. Now, I say all that because if you find yourself today depressed or dysthymic, dysthymic is a type of depression where you can go about your life and you can do your tasks, but it's almost like a Pepsi that's lost its fizz. There's no enthusiasm, there's no bubbly, there's no excitement. If you find yourself in those kinds of positions today of just apathy and boredom and totally lacking in that joie de vivre, make a concerted effort and a determination to get your spark back. If you look at people like me and you're just kind of like, that kind of thing where, come on, calm down, let's be serious here. Consider how important it is to have that fun, to have that enthusiasm and that excitement. I understand some people like myself come more prepackaged for being the cheerleaders of the world, but everyone can benefit from lightening up, having some fun. Not only do you need it, the people around you need it. And I know people with joie de vivre, one of the defining characteristics is they're very grateful people. They're grateful for a good cup of coffee. They're grateful for a nice smile from someone. The little things, even the little things bring them joy and enthusiasm. If you want to know what joie de vivre is, you go to a playground with the preschoolers, the kindergartners, and you see the joy and the excitement. And I know for me it was just heartbreaking because I volunteered for my kids all the way up as they passed through the ranks of school. And I distinctly remember when I started to not enjoy it so much. And that was about around the time they were in fourth grade. The kids started to change. Now they're rolling their eyes. And I understand, you know, preteens and teens, they have to go through that period of time. I'm in the thick of it with my 14 year old and soon to be 17 year old. But now that you're an adult, it's time to get your fire back, get your joy back, get your joie de vivre. Whatever it takes. Do you need to watch some funny movies to lighten up? Do it. Do you need to join an exercise class? Do it. 
determined that you're going to be full of joie de vivre. You're going to be full of enthusiasm, passion, excitement. I guarantee you it is a very important part of resilience because life's going to come in and it's going to kick all of our tushes, okay? There's going to be tough things and the good and the bad and the ugly. But if you're ready for it, if you're already built up and strong with enthusiasm and positivity and excitement, when those things come, they're not going to overwhelm you. They're not going to stop you. You will be unstoppable. So make the decision today to get that joie de vivre. Rachel Cipriano with Magnificent Resili Resilience. You have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and subscribe, and keep on keeping on.